Hello, my fellow book lovers and bookworms of the galaxy. It's Alex the Booktuber back at it again. And for tonight's video, I am going to be unboxing the newest A Twisted Tale book. So, let's dive into it. And I'm so glad that I got this in the mail this afternoon. Here it comes. Ta-da! Here it is. Fade Be Changed by Farrah Rochon. Oh, it has a picture of Merida on the front cover. Ah, it also says, what if the witch gave Merida a different spell? And I'm going to see what this what the book is about. It says, if you could change your fate, would you? Merida understands that, that as Princess of Clan Dunbrook, she has certain obligations. But that doesn't mean she has to like it. Especially when one of those obligations means losing her freedom by becoming betrothed to a man she has never met. Merida balks at this tradition, but her mother, Queen Ilinor, insists that Merida must do this to embrace her role as future queen. Determined to chart her own path, Merida follows magical wisps to a witch's cottage, where she is given a tiny cake and promised it will incite a great transformation in her mother. But instead of feeding Eleanor the witch's cake, Merida eats it herself. Ugh. Merida w awakens in the past, with a teenage Eleanor holding a knife to her throat and accusing her of es espionage. Es espionage. Yikes. She's been transported to a time when the clans Mac Cameron and Dunbrock are bitter enemies. And it just so happens that the timing of Merida's arrival has kept Illinor and Fergus from meeting. Will Merida be able to bridge the rival clans, help her parents fall in love, and change her own fate? Ah, uh, sounds, sounds adventurous. And the cover looks amazing. And if you guys think this is going to be a good re book recommendation for you, and if you've seen the movie Brave, then go smash that like button if you think this would be a good read for you. If so, then I think you guys are amazing. And I have seen the movie Brave, and I thought it was really good. And for those of you who do not know, that, that Dunbrook is actually a kingdom in the country of Scotland. And Merida has a Scottish accent, and so does the rest of her family. And I cannot wait to read this. And Merida is also one of the reasons why girl power is in, is increasing all over the world. And she believes that not all princesses have to be betrothed right away. Or at all. Because there are some girls that, that love to be single. And if you guys especially you female book lovers agree with me, then go give this video another like if you agree with my opinion. And Merida is also really good with a bow and arrow. So she does a lot of archery. And that means she also has to clean her bow and arrow every day, which is part of her royal duties. And Merida also has three younger brothers who are actually triplets. And I think they're really cute. And pretty m mischievous, too, as well. So, that's it for tonight's video. So, please don't forget to go like, subscribe, and turn on the post notifications for when you want to see my next video. I hope you all had a great Easter. And to my fellow fans and viewers who are also on the autism spectrum, like myself, I hope you all are having a great first month of April, first and second month of April. 
So I, I want to think of you as lovely and beautiful people. Like if, like if you're on the spectrum, that I think you're all wonderful in your own special way. And this is also the first time me telling you guys is that I'm also on the autism spectrum myself as well. And I'm proud of who I am. And I don't let autism stop me from doing the things that make me happy. And I'm living a really success I'm really living a successful life. And and I'm doing a lot of amazing things in this world too as well. Like I love doing videos for you guys and sharing my love for reading with all of you kids, teenagers, and adults all over the world too as well. I'll see you all next time. Good night.